Now, viewers, let's go into the kitchen and see Michele whip up a fantastic variation on a chestnut soup. Thanks, Caterina. To make a basic stock, it's very easy. You just need cold water, um, and then you need, uh, what I use is one onion, I usually cut it in half, and then uh, one carrot, cut in half as well, to just to make sure that all the flavor come out easily, and a couple of sticks of celery. Uh, I know that usually we never have got time to make a stock and we always use cubes, but uh, it's very easy. You just put it on cold water, put it on the stove, let it boil for half an hour on low heat, and then, uh, and then it's ready for you. You're going to have a beautiful stock with lots of flavor and uh, no MSG that you get on your cubes. Obviously, the stock is the base of every soup. But now that we got that out of the way, we need to start uh, making the actual soup. First of all, we're going to need some uh, onions. And uh, usually, I've got a, you know, a way to cut the onions to make it easier. Otherwise, you'll be there crying forever because the onions will make you cry. But they used to say they make your eyes look better. I never knew about that. Anyway, chop the onions. We're going to put the onions in the oil. Make sure the oil is nice and uh, hot. And I always add salt with, uh, with the onions. As soon as I start frying the onions, I always add a little bit of salt. Salt tend to you know, get the water out of the onions so the onions don't actually burn, but they get a nice color and they taste better as well. Once the onions, you can see they become nice and shiny, you need to add uh, potatoes. Potatoes usually is a base for every soup. So we add the potatoes. I usually chop them up in a way that are not too big and not too small. While they're cooking, the potatoes will be, you know, will release a starch, so will help the soup become thicker, especially if you leave it there for one day in the fridge and also you know the wool break up a little bit so that's usually the size that I like to do it and uh, you add the potatoes in potatoes because of the starch they tend to stick and burn straight away so you have to be careful so you keep stirring it and now you have to add a little bit of um, uh, fennel I put a half a fennel usually fennel we always know that you know we like to eat fennel fresh as a salad especially the baby one but uh, I actually like to eat fennel, you know, especially the, the bigger one, even in, in a soup as well, cooked, because it's a kind of a sweet after flavor that you get. And uh, I just cut it in half and then uh, cut it into, you know, three, and uh, I just put it in like that. And, uh, and uh, keep stirring, obviously. And then, uh, uh, you know, one of the last ingredients will be the black cabbage or kale. I really like to use black cabbage and uh, you know, it doesn't even look like a cabbage. It looks more like a, a silver bee. You only realize it's cabbage when you're cutting it because what, once you start cooking or cutting it, you can really smell cabbage. And it's really good for winter. So we add a little bit of that. And uh, even though it looks like, uh, you know, leafy vegetables like uh, spinach or, or silver bee, it will take a while to cook to actually make sure it's nice and soft. Otherwise, it tend to be um, if it's not cooked enough, it's not like your normal cabbage when you make a salad. This doesn't really taste as nice raw. We need to use chestnuts. I prefer roasted chestnuts because obviously they got more flavor than boiled one. And so we use some of the roasted chestnuts, they're already peeled off. We put it in at the end. And then uh, the, obviously some herbs, some sage, thyme. I usually like to put both. Um, you could use even some uh, rosemary if you like. Rosemary it's always tend to overpower, you know, take out the flavor of everything. Or some bay leaf, depends what you got. And then uh, obviously after that, you need to, I mean the secret of the soup to getting the flavor is to make sure that, you, that you're frying it off very gently. So that you're actually cooking it longer with the oil at the start, so that they release more flavor. Because, you know, by cooking it slowly, all the flavor will come out. Uh, when you see that they start to stick on the bottom of the pot, that's the time that we, I like to have, uh, to add a little bit of white wine, okay? You don't have to add white wine if you don't want, but I, I prefer white wine. Let it evaporate everything. That means that when you can't smell wine anymore, that means it's time to add stock. We're gonna add the stock that has been cooking for half an hour. So you can see by the vegetable when they're nice and soft. And uh, also, now you can see why I don't like to chop up vegetables too small for the stock, because a lot of the time, you know, we, in the kitchen, we tend to chop up vegetables so small, then, then you need to strain the stock. The way I do it, you still get the flavor, and then you can just pick up the, the stock without, without straining everything and wasting even more time. If you forgot to do your stock, 
that's another thing that I sometimes I do, or to get more flavor, you can actually add water and then add the same ingredients of the stock, but you add it into the soup. So your onions, carrots and celery, half an hour later you take that out, so you still get the flavor of those vegetables. It won't be the same as the stock, but it will still give you better flavor than water. Thanks Angela for coming in and uh, trying my soup, I hope you're gonna like it. Thank you Michele. Uh, these premium chestnuts, can you tell me a little bit more about the region that they come from? Yeah, they actually are what they call user-friendly as well, okay. and they come from uh, uh, Bright, Beechworth and uh, Stanley. And they supply 70% of the chestnuts around Australia. Wow, that's amazing. So it's a big, uh, well, that, big well, producer. That so certainly looks gorgeous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you to try some of my soup. Okay, I hope, uh, I hope you're going to like it, Angela. It Tell me delicious. what you think. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. Mm, absolutely delicious. I can't say enough. What a wonderful winter chestnut soup. Nice and warming. Yes. Thank you, Michele. I think I might just take these over here. No problem. <laughs> now, wasn't that a fantastic winter recipe? Black cabbage, potato, fennel and chestnuts. These are the foods of Italy.